coming at you 38 feet, seven inches in length, three total slides, is this 2021 Keystone Outback model 328RL. RL for real living, so pretty much the perfect couple's luxury travel trailer. Sleeping room for two, possibly four or five, really depending on the size of your guest. But here on the front of the coach, you're gonna have one molded fiberglass front cap. And check out those LED lights, just really helping you find your camper in the campground at nighttime or to assist with docking. And speaking of docking, here on the hitch weight, 1,075 pounds. And this unit here is resting on a fully automatic seven point electric leveling system. So simply pressing of a button and this coach here will level itself. Here on the main side of the unit, you're gonna have two electric awnings. One of them is 11 feet and then 13 feet. And just about every awning on the market nowadays has some sort of LED light on it. And these are out here on the poles on the arms of the unit. So just a little bit different. There's the LED lights for those there. Frame style windows all the way throughout. Outdoor speakers. And check out this, this like accordion style storage container on the front. This nicely tucks away. Slam latches with magnetic latches on the top to help hold it up out of the way. Really is nice. Solid step entry step going into the coach. And these do flip up in, inside the door. Does have the bigger grab handle and the friction hinge on the entry door which does definitely help on high wind days so coming around to the back of the unit you're gonna have one fully walkable roof and you can get to that roof by means of this rear mounted ladder with a 250 pound low capacity the roof is gonna be constructed of a 3 8 decking the floor is constructed of a 5 8 tongue and groove power connection is located back here by the back bumper so nicely tucked away and I like that because most of the power campgrounds have located their power connections back from the back Docking station, so all the water connections back from the back also. It just simply plugs in here. Black tank flush, city water connections all done nicely right there. Additional storage on one of the living room slides here. So three total slides and all these slides are cable driven slides. And here's another shot of the front storage compartment underneath the master bedroom bed. You have two sewer connections. So multiple hoses are gonna be needed. You have two gray handles and one black and back here another black handle so possibly three total hoses just to set this camper up in this campground space T key tv connection for satellite and regular cable right done, done right there speaking of axles coach is going to be sitting on two twin 5200 pound dexter axles easy lube and the tires are st225 75 r15s one last thing coach is going to come with a six gallon gas and electric hot water heater on this coach here so now we're going to head inside here inside the coach you have three total sides and two of those three sides located here in the rear living area opening it up nicely for you and your guests to move about slide box height of five foot seven so if you're a taller individual like myself definitely watch your head when standing up thomas Payne collection these are manual recliners blackout shades all the way throughout the windows are a slide type pretty easy to operate there blackout shades all the way throughout the coach additional storage on both sides of the sleeper sofa here this is a trifold and this will pull out in three i'll show you what that looks like closer towards the end additional storage up above and while we're here let's talk about the radius roof fully walkable roof constructed of a 3 8 decking units going to come with two air conditioning units and here's a sound quality test for you One's a 15K, one's a 13.5, but definitely enough air conditioning to cool off this massive 37 foot travel trailer. Flat screen TV with an electric fireplace, but if you don't camp in the winter, you can turn the heat off and just use some of the LED lights to assist you with moving about the coach. Solid surface countertops in the prep kitchen prepping area. Stainless steel drop in sink with a residential faucet. And check this out, two all electric, 12 volt 12 cubic foot so that's 24 cubic feet of refrigerator in a luxury style travel trailer regular camping style oven with three eye burners and you will have the additional drawer on the bottom for more pots and pans over here the coffee prep station but before we get there let me just point out the island real quick showing you some of the storage it has coffee prep station is going to have the standard microwave nothing fancy there additional cabinets with the shelf 
Solid surface countertops continue there. But before heading into the hallway, next to the entry door is all the controls for the unit. Slide operations, awning operations, and the first thermostat controlling this air conditioning unit here. Coming inside the main bedroom area, you're gonna have a king size bed, blackout shades on both sides of the window. Those are breeze windows, so you can create a nice breeze throughout the coach. Additional storage underneath the bed, but there's one additional thing. Check this out. Pet friendly place to store your pets whenever you're out and about on the campground. Maybe you don't want them moving about your coach, so a little space for smaller pets, nothing big like my Great Dane. Definitely will not fit in there. I need to go ahead and apologize to you guys. I told you there was no carpet in here, and I found it in the master bedroom closet. So tons of storage space throughout, and that is the second air conditioning unit here. Washer and dryer prepped for a ventless combo unit. This is not a stack, it's a room for a combo unit could be installed on this model here. Blackout shades at the foot of the bed, and you're gonna have about four different drawers for all of your stuff. And if you decide you wanna place a TV, TV bracket mount could be right here with TV connections there. Second thermostat controlling the bedroom air is located here on the wall before heading into the bathroom area here. Heading into the main bathroom area, you're gonna be up with this two-piece plastic shower, 34 by 34. Ceiling height inside of the coach here of six foot eight, so you certainly have tons of headroom. I'm six foot two, and my arm is fully extended with this fully radius shower, giving you that much more shoulder height to move about. Porcelain foot flush toilet with a decent amount of leg room on each side. And here's a good shot of the storage while I'm sitting on the toilet showing you guys how much room you're gonna have. So three shelves provided almost from floor to the ceiling. And here's a shot of how much leg room you're gonna have. Additional storage underneath the bathroom sink, press membrane countertops, plastic sink, plastic faucet, and a cool little medicine cabinet for all of your bathroom needs here. So now I've got the living room laid out in its full sleeping arrangement to show you how much room you're gonna have for all of your additional guests. Sleeping room for possibly one full-size adult there, possibly one or two here. That's about the size of a full-size bed. And as you can tell, there's lots of walk around room when it's laid out. Even room to possibly recline in one of your Thomas Paine collection recliners here. So once again, guys, I greatly do appreciate you sticking around this long in the video. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of this model here for pricing, availability on this unit. I'll leave a link in the description, so check it out down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here to the channel. Peace!